Martin wasn't your usual kid. Sure, he went to school, bathed, and lived pretty much like everyone else. But there was something, you know, off with Martin. When he walked into the room, you would feel a dark presence and almost instantly shudder. Let me tell you the story of the day Martin turned 14. In other words, the day Martin became dark and evil. It was a cool, brisk autumn morning, and Martin woke up with a big smile on his face. This extreme happiness was deep inside Martin, because his dad told him he was getting a special Pokemon for him. Martin walked downstairs, ate his breakfast, brushed his teeth. While he was finishing brushing, he heard his dad yell from the top of the stairs. Hey Martin, could you come here for a sec? He replied in a peppy voice. Sure dad, be right up. Martin rushed to put his toothbrush back in the usual spot and hurried upstairs to see what his dad wanted. Hey dad, what do you want? Martin said as he entered dad's room. Martin saw his dad holding something in his hand. Hey bud, I got a surprise for you. Martin could clearly see what his dad was holding. The object was a Pokeball. Open it, his dad said. Martin's dad handed him the Pokeball. His dad looked at him with a shocked look to find out that Martin did not ask what the Pokemon was, or even open the Pokeball yet. Martin just stood there in shock, in amazement, finally able to possess a pocket monster of his own. Open it, his dad said. With that, Martin hit the button in the Pokeball to find that his dad had gotten him a Squirtle. Do you like it? His dad asked. Yes, I love him! Replied Martin. Go on. Just be home by 10 p.m., okay? Martin nodded in agreement and rushed out in the door. He was met by his friend Harry at the door. Harry was about to knock. Hey, dude. I finally taught Pikachu Thunderbolt. <laughs> nice! I have a Squirtle! Martin replied with excitement. Harry and Martin hung out a lot, so they usually spent most of the day running around Goldenrod City. Martin and Harry ran off to Goldenrod City. They ran into some kids that usually pick on them at school. Chrissy, Tom, and John. Hey dorks, John said, who's usually the leader of the group. <sighs> Martin sighs. What do you want? John scoffs. A set of battles. Harry and Chrissy. You and me. <sighs> do you want to do this? Harry replies with a nod. Towards the end of the battles, Harry is about to KO Chrissy's Jolteon, when all of a sudden, she looks straight at Harry in the eyes, and commands her, Jolteon, to attack Harry directly. Jolteon uses Volt Tackle on Harry. Harry falls to the ground. Martin rushes over to see if Harry's okay, but he's unconscious. Martin reaches to pick up Harry when all of a sudden he hears a squirtle yell one last call before it's knocked out. John Shinx doesn't stop attacking, even after John calls him off. And after Squirtle was knocked out, Shinx had to be pulled off Squirtle. Squirtle was bleeding. <laughs> bleeding really bad. Martin waited till Harry got picked up by the paramedics before he took Squirtle to a Poké Center. Martin rushes into the Pokémon Center, face full of tears puts Squirtle on the table and asks, Is there anything I can do? Please tell me you can do something! Nurse Joy looks with a disgusted face. Um, sorry. I wish we could, but we can only help hurt or fainted Pokemon. I'm sorry to say that your young Squirtle will have to be taken to Lavender Town in the Kanto region. <laughs> Martin exits the Poké Center, face full of anger, hatred, and sadness. He spent the rest of his day walking around with Squirtle on his shoulder. At 10 p.m., Martin decided to blow off what his dad told him, decided to walk to the hospital to check on Harry. He entered Harry's room, with Squirtle still on his shoulder. He could tell he was full of misery, suffering, and sickness. Martin noticed Harry was hooked up to a pacemaker. He looked at the pacemaker for a few minutes, then he walked up to Harry and whispered in his ear, Sometimes, you have 
have to make sacrifices to be the very best. Harry's eyes widened as he watched Martin walk over to the pacemaker, and he started to destroy it. Harry started to violently kick as his heart stopped beating. Alarms went off throughout the hospital. Martin laid Squirtle next to the now lifeless body of Harry and said, And I am the very best.